have a new airline by the end of 2023. Jetwings Airlines has announced its launch and plans today for India. They claim to be India's first airline with a focus on the Northeast. I have the management with me, Sanjeev Narayan and Aditya Singh, the chairman, co-founder and CEO. Thank you, gentlemen, for speaking to us here at CNN News 18. Firstly, congratulations. Looks like your plan is on track. For, could you first help us understand where does the paperwork currently stand? So we have just got their licenses, uh, we have got the NOC and so now we just need to wait for the aircrafts and once the aircraft comes, we'll get our AOP and we get, as soon as we get the AOP, we'll be on air. Okay, so you're saying you're hopeful as far as the paperwork and documentation is concerned. Where do the uh, talks with the DGCA stand as far as the AOP is concerned? No, that is, DGCA is the supreme, that depends on the aircraft. You bring good aircraft, they will give you permission. If you don't have a good aircraft, they will not give you permission. So we are definitely going to get very good aircrafts once with a very good flying range and everything. So I'm quite, DGC is quite supportive. They have got wonderful, wonderful uh, officers. Director General himself has given us very best of luck for the entire venture. And they also are looking for good aircrafts to come in. And they are also looking at this segment growth. So the, all the officers out there whom we are into contact and touch, they are really excited the, to uh, get these aircrafts here. And uh, they are also looking at uh, you know, supporting us to the level best. Okay. I want to now understand what is your plan and vision as far as the launch of this airline is concerned. You're claiming to be India's first airline with a vision on the Northeast. Why does the Northeast become so important and what is your plan? First and foremost, we are from the Northeast. So that is why it's important to us and all our businesses are in the Northeast. Sure. Uh, so that is the whole reason and being the first person to start uh, from the Northeast we would definitely want it to be a successful venture like the other ventures that uh, we have and uh, uh, we have a long term plan okay. at the short term we have five aircrafts we are getting five aircrafts two we are getting in the uh, by october we should get so but still we are saying calendar year before the calendar year of 23 and uh, what our target is to connect the entire northeast first and then connect the northeast to the whole of the country yeah so that is our first target, first aim. And of course, you know, we intend to become, uh, we don't intend now, we have already become the first uh, company from the Northeast, from Assam's, this is Assam's local company. So we, we intend to be the one of the best and the largest company in the near future. And we intend to get more aircrafts once we start our national uh, license. But the license that we have got is already a na national license. So we can connect any uh, city with anybody. Okay, so you're saying you'll have a graded approach. First connect cities within the Northeast and then move Pan India. So help me now understand the kind of aircraft that you will be using. How many will you have by the end of this year? You're saying October. So how many will you have by October and then the future plan? So in terms of uh, aviation, you know, it takes a lot of time for getting clearances and it takes time. So we are being very hopeful. It takes 90 working days for, you know, clearing the, the processes. But uh, if we are very hopeful that we can get the aircrafts by October, then we should be flying by November. Which aircraft? Uh, we are right now looking at Amberers because they are good jets. They have a economy, a dual economy, like, you know, a business and economy formation. And that is quite exciting for the people because you also have a good business class travelers in Northeast. And also we have the uh, bureaucrats and all they who already prefer to fly uh, and they have a census to fly for this. So that is something that is important we're looking at. And uh, dual uh, section is something is very interesting. So we are, we are concentrating on that. And uh, it's, it's a long range aircraft and it's jets so we'll be able to connect other part of the country very soon and uh, for this year we are going you know it's two induction is important and with that will be inducting keep on inducting like you know if it will be the process management system as as long as we can you know fill the seats yeah. and demand of uh, starts and we can keep on inducting like initially it takes three months two inductions and then we'll sort the inductions and uh, maybe at a time we might induct uh, 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 aircraft a month maybe after that in a week it, sure. yeah it also is the growth line you know okay Thank so you're saying depending on growth you will want to expand yes. help me understand in terms of hubs and cities which are the first cities that you would want to connect your base is in Guwahati as of now I understand so which are going to be the first cities that you want to connect so it's it's like Guwahati Dibrugar, Guwahati Imphal, Guwahati Agartala, Guwahati Lakhimpur, Guwahati Silchar okay. these are the first cities that we are going to connect so we have already got we have applied for 16 routes okay. So those 16 routes, first we are going to connect those routes and gradually from there we will connect the rest of the country. 
Okay. I also want to now understand the Indian aviation space is extremely competitive. The funding of big airlines has gone bust. We've seen grounding of airlines that has happened. What makes you so optimistic as far as staying afloat in the aviation space? So that is the reason, you know, we cut our cloth according to our size, you know. So we are starting in a very small manner uh, and we want to, we intend to keep it very small and as and when we grow, we intend to grow. So that is our principle of doing business, any business that we do. So we'll start in a smaller manner and, you know, we'll grow with the time as the time comes and hopefully we don't fall into those traps. Okay. Lastly, I also want to understand, airfares of course have been a huge concern for the Indian aviation space. You've seen the ministry step in as well. How are you going to try and regulate prices that every person who aims to fly will be able to fly? See, we will try our level best, but the market ethics are different. You know, whatever the market go, market uh, uh, calculations goes on, uh, we cannot go and resist them. You know, those are much bigger, bigger players. But yes, of course, I have. we understand now that the aviation industry is booming now. It's, you know, not here say, I don't know why the airlines has, you know, one or two airlines has switched on, but the model, business model that we are, we have adopted mm -hmm. and the calculations that we have seen, we don't see uh, making huge losses, you know, but yes, we don't see making huge money also in the short term and we don't want to as well. Uh, as you saw, the, the Honorable Minister also said, the people who earn very fast, it goes off very fast. Yeah. So we don't have in any of our business, we, you know, we take a long term three or five year plan. Okay. And in this, the same we have, uh, done for this airlines as well you know okay. so we have a short term plan in three years what we'll do in five years what we'll do and maybe then after that you know the sky is the limit okay. yeah. sky is the limit here's wishing both of you the very best and hoping to see the airline fly as well